How to add page breaks in Canva doc. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how to actually get this done. Now, it is actually very easy and simple nowadays to get a uh, page break, unlike previously, but now we can actually do it very easily. And there are two different ways to do so. So first, you will need to just go ahead and open up a doc real quick. I will just use a blank one, but you can also use it for a pre-existing one. And in here, I will just go in and add some content. So I will just, you know, uh, add a heading here, some text over here, and more text over here. And, you know, you get the idea. So anyways, let's say this, I want to now add a page break. So what do we do? Instead, what we need to do is first, I'll show you the first method, which is uh, by going to the elements section. And then from here, we search for page breaks. And then you will find the graphics in here. So you can just go ahead and click on graphics. And if you just select one, most of them, by the way, are actually premium. Uh, but you can find some that are not. So I'll just use this one as an example. And it's going to allow me to start here, um, you know, at the bottom now with a new uh, page. So this could count as a page break. It's not the best one, to be honest. Uh, but it does actually get the job done. Now, you know, obviously you can browse for more um, practical ones. So we could find... Uh, there was one that I actually used previously and it was working pretty well. I'll try to find it one more time here, which is not premium, by the way. Let's just use this one. And then you can see we can just go ahead and start again from here. So this is the first method, which is going to be using the elements section on here but this is not the proper way to do it the proper way to do it is once you actually want to add a page break uh, you just go ahead and click on this plus icon which is the quick actions if you don't see it you can just do slash and it's just going to open up this section for you and all you need to do is just go and search for page break or do control enter and you will find it right away and you can just go ahead and select it and as you can see now we have two different pages the first one which is this and also the second one, which is at the bottom here. And we can just go ahead and again, repeat. So we can just add a heading in here, uh, just a heading and, you know, just add more text here like so. And let's say now we want to add another page break. Again, just go ahead and do slash shift enter. Uh, and that did not work. So let's just go ahead and do it the proper way instead. So slash, oops, sorry about that slash uh page break oh it was control enter i did uh shift enter so that's that's why it didn't work uh so let's just go and try it from the actual screen here uh, because i usually just do it the other way so control enter and then actually it does create it for you with control enter so this is all for this video hopefully you found it to be informative and thanks for watching